If being built on the name and shoulders of a local legend would ensure the survival of a late 19th century town, then Suman would have been top of the list in Porter County. Suman seemed perched on a strong foundation of local celebrity, regular railroad service, and a long-lived post office. But like other ghost towns, it too faded into obscurity. Suman was named after the Civil War veteran Isaac Suman. Born in Maryland, Isaac first joined the Army at age 15 to serve under General Zachary Taylor in the Mexican-American War. After that war, he made his way to Ohio and then to Valparaiso, where he worked as a carpenter before volunteering for the Union Army. Isaac's personality and war experience quickly led to promotions, and he led the Indiana 9th Volunteer Infantry through some of the war's bloodiest battles. After the war, he was offered a commission as a brigadier general, but he declined it and returned to Porter County, where he established his homestead on his land in Jackson Township, south of what is now Route 6. In 1872, the B&O Railroad came through the area. Isaac struck a deal to have a station built in exchange for the right-of-way through his property. This train stop was the beginning of the town of Suman. The Suman Post Office was established in 1876 with Isaac Suman as the first postmaster. Isaac left his Suman Valley homestead and moved to Valparaiso around 1881, where he became postmaster and eventually served as mayor. As with other rural post offices, the Suman office became obsolete. While Suman was never a bustling town, it managed to make several headlines in area newspapers. Suman's tragic deaths, railroad accidents, and tales of bootleggers spread throughout the state into the 1920s. A common headline included the suspected presence of oil. Jackson Township, especially Suman, became the focus of oil companies in the early 1900s. Several oil wells were dug over the years, but there was no viable production. For many years, rumors continued to spread of oil just waiting to be discovered. Suman failed to thrive once railroad companies began consolidating station business. By World War II, the town of Suman was simply a memory, as most area farmers and residents utilized shipping routes and businesses in Valparaiso and Chesterton. But the area continued to be referred to as Suman or Suman Valley. Few photos exist of the town, but the newspaper stories and the legend of Isaac Suman have endured. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another video about Doonland Ghost Towns, 